And what she up to now, day 2,332, Sharon Hornell's me here documenting the journey. Originally, when I came online from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of businesses, and then back and forth again during the pandemic, because it seemed like the right time to grow things in the United States, not shut everything down. Just my opinion. So today we're talking about, I create a couple of pieces of content every day for the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. We're on relationship growth this month, and we're talking about quality time and shared experiences, the power of those to impact our relationships in a positive way. We've been spending the last few days talking about things that kind of negatively impact our relationship, judgment, criticism, uh, jumping in co conclusions, things like that, things that don't really help our relationships to grow. But today we're looking at things that do, like quality time, what does that mean to you, and shared experiences. Have you got examples of shared experiences that have helped different relationships in your life to grow and become better and stronger and more of what you want. How we just find better is more of what feels right to you, right? And some things feel right to some people and not to others. And then they're probably not in a relationship. For Supersize Your Business, we're talking about crisis leadership. How do you lead in a crisis? What are some strategies to make sure that you're successfully navigating challenges and crises? Because I guarantee things are gonna change in your organization. You're going to have to handle emergencies and crises. And if you've got a plan in place ahead of time, contingency plans, emergency action plans, whatever you call them in your industry, uh, you will be so much more confident and more prepared than if you didn't have a plan in place. It's like why we create budgets and things for our businesses, why we have plans, why we have goals, why we have strategic plans for our business, because they help us to guide our choices and our decisions, et cetera. And talk about the importance of leading by example for that. So we need to lead by example. If you, if you don't learn anything else uh, from how to do a strategy and how to implement a strategy well, it's lead by example. Do what's right. Show people how you want them to behave by demonstrating it. Because people do what we do, not what we say. That's just human nature. So that's all I've got today. If I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, have a fabulous day, and I will be with you tomorrow.